Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's no boy I'd rather be. Welcome back to part 28 of my Let's Play series of Pokemon Legends Arceus for Nintendo Switch. Last time in part 27, we completed the mission. The counterpart. There was a second almighty Sinnoh all along, but with the red chain no longer usable, you must find another method to catch this fearsome Pokemon. In which we did. Uh, catching Origin Form Di Dialga. Um, and then we had a festival to celebrate, and we started on another mission, A New Day Dawns. The rift in space-time has disappeared, and the calamity seems to have been averted. At last you can return to the survey cause main duty, completing the Pokédex. But now we have uh, a new mission in the research of myths. To flesh out the Pokedex, look into legendary Pokemon with the help of the Merchant Volo, who is very learned in the myths of history region, where we met with Miss, uh, uh, Mistress Kajita. And now we have a bunch of missions to do where we look for the plates being held onto by legendary Pokemon. The first of which being Catch Mesprit, Azelf, and Yuxi. Miss, uh, Miss Kojita has provided you with hints that might help you find more plates. One seems to be connected to the Pokemon of Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. There's also the plate of Fire Spit Island, the plate of Moonview Arena, the plate of Snowpoint Temple, and the plate of Prelude Beach. So we'll do this in order uh, as, is, uh, as the order is going. Uh, and we'll be heading to uh, the Cave of Lake Verity first. Uh, on the way, we also have some new missions that have opened up for us. Uh, new requests, even, that have opened up for us. Uh, one being, uh, some, some, most of these I did off screen, but some I opened up anyway. Uh, the Clefairy's Moonlit Dance, where we can go find some Clefairy. It has to be under a full moon uh, at the Fabled Spring um, in the, the uh, Mount Coronet Highlands. Um, then there's also another mass outbreak in the Fieldlands. Uh, Maya's counting on you to do some investigating, so I think we'll be heading to the, the Fieldlands anyway, because that's where the first lake is which is lake verity so we'll be doing that and we'll be doing the other mass outbreak on the way so um let uh, there's my anyway we can bring our we can begin our investigation as soon as you're prepared are you ready to go now yep i'm ready excellent off to the heights camp with us <laughs> Little much lags. Also, very hard to find. I've been trying to complete the Pokedex off screen, and much lags is just impossible to find. We haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, nor has much lags reacted to anything. Shall we just wait for a while to see whether something happens? Sure, I guess. It's storming. It's raining, and it looks like it's going to get worse. Man. Are you worried about the rainstorm, Munchlax? We still don't know what's causing these mysterious massive out mass outbreaks. Massive mass outbreaks. How will we find one? Should we... Uh, where should we look? Perhaps that fancy map of yours can show us something. Munch. Oh, it's bigger the devil. I mean, speak of God. <laughs> oh my God. Matt, what? Je Jesus. Uh, that's a lot of massive mass outbreaks. Uh, okay. Man. <laughs> yeah, you said it, Mudgelax. A massive mass outbreak is a phenomenon in which many mass outbreaks occur at once. Mass outbreak locations are marked by question mark icons on the map. And you won't know what Pokemon can be found there until you go see. These rare outbreaks will dissipate in time, so you need to hurry to investigate them. Catch or defeat... Pokemon at a mass outbreak before it dissipates to so finish investigating that particular, particular location. Sometimes additional Pokemon may appear immediately after you complete your investigation. It seems you have some idea where to look for those outbreaks now. Why not check out a few? See, at least three ought to give us some idea of what is going on. Checking your map and investigate go locations marked with question marks. So we'll be heading down this way. So I think as we head towards Lake Verity, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna head to this one first. Uh, which is over here. Uh, also, off screen, my team has gotten uh, got some levels, and we're very close to level ninety. Very close indeed. 
Okay, so the first mass outbreak is here. I've got lots of Pokeballs as well. So whatever mass outbreak is happening, we'll be able to catch a bunch. So there's a lot, by the looks of it, this one is Cricketune and Cricketot. So that's kind of cool. I mean, not really, because I've got loads of Cricketot and Cricketune already, so... We found the Pokemon that were reported. So let's just start. Really, guys, are you, are you serious right now? Why can't I catch this one? Cricket top. There we go. Okay, so I want to be leading with Electrode. Because I'm going to Thunder Wave it and then... Um, just the, the plan is just fun to wave and throw Pokeballs. That's that's the plan, Gyarados. Jeebus. Okay, Gyarados. I mean, you're in the ground. Uh, Electrode's also in the ground. What the hell's going on here? I can't even see Electrode. That was random. Okay, let's take on. I think it's Mesprit here. Oh, oh, okay. Um. Let's just do this. Come on. Level 70. Wow. Thunder wave the heck out of that, please. Avoid the attack. Uh, ow. No. Ooh. Definitely not. Uh... Yeah, Thunder Wave, please. Okay, excellent. And then we just want to... Agile-style Thunderbolt. That's the plan. Neat. So two of those, and then throw balls. That's the plan. Uh, if Electro survives. <laughs> Neat. Okay. And then throw balls. Nice. First ball. Mesprit was caught. But there are two more leg Pokemon left to be caught. So let's uh, get a moving. But first we'll go head, head back to talk to my... for your investigation in Obsidian Fieldlands. Massive mass outbreak in the Fieldlands. We've got Tumblestone, Iron Chunk, and Smoke Bombs. Nice. Did you learn anything about those massive mass outbreaks? Uh, <laughs> it's always pouring rain. What could that mean? Do Pokemon gather when there's especially heavy rain? I wonder whether Munchlax was reacting to the rainstorm or to the massive outbreaks it outbreak itself. We'll just have to investigate further, but how best to do so? We've had a good look around the Obsidian Fieldlands, but it's only raised more questions. That frown doesn't suit you at all. Oh, Mistress Cal Calibur. Well, you see... Mass outbreaks that occur during rainstorms. I've never heard of such a thing. But of course, life is, is full of surprises. After all, it's not that often that Pokemon from beyond our world appear at the Temple of Sinnoh either. Perhaps these Pokemon are reacting to the arrival of mighty Palkia. Why don't we head back to the Jubilee Village? A resu shop may be a good place to visit. That girl's place is awfully po popular after all. And where people gather, information abounds. Of course, the hairdressers. Uh, good thinking. If anyone there has seen one of these massive mass outbreaks, they might be willing to share the details with us. It's settled then. I'll wait for you at the hairdressers. 
Uh, okay. So we'll head back to town anyway. Once I heal up the gang. Caught 24 Pokemon, and we got Mesprit as well. We'll return to the village. We'll head to the hairdressers anyway. Oh, Ronnie, really? Mistress Callop is waiting for you. Coming in. I heard all about those massive mass outbreaks. I bet there's some sort of Pokemon festival. It's like what I heard from a customer who came here from Johto. Apparently on nights with a full moon, Clefairy get to get together and dance. It's basically a gathering of Pokemon that only happens when certain conditions are met. Which sounds pretty similar to massive mass outbreaks, don't you think? So massive mass outbreaks could be a festival of Pokemon to enjoy the rainstorms. Uh, you really think so? It seems to me you're still biting your tongue, Erezu. Have you heard anything else? Well, I did hear something about weird. I did hear something weird from a Diamond Clan friend of mine. What was it? They said they saw a mass outbreak of alphas in the Crimson Mylands. But seriously, do alphas ever gather in groups? My friend must have missed my mistake, right? Alphas grouping together. If this is a part of a massive mass outbreak, it sounds dangerous. Man. Even Lady of the Ridge would be no match for a mass outbreak of alphas. It's natural to worry about the unknown. That's why Ronnie is investigating this for us, no? To put our concerns to rest. You're right. It seems our next step is to investigate the Crimson Mylands. Massive mass outbreak at the Crimson Mylands. But I actually won't be heading there. Just yet. I'll be heading first to the next lake. Are you ready to head to the Crimson Mylands with me? And uh, no. Instead, we're going to continue this mission to go to... Uh, The next lake trio, which will be... Uh, da, da, da. So lake... Oh, we're heading to the Crimson Islands anyway, so that's where the next lake is, so I guess we are. <laughs> Then I'll go back to the village and talk to Mai, because then we can just all go to the village anyway, so. Well, we, we need to head to the Queen's Islands anyway, because that's where the next lake is. So let's go talk to Mai. Excellent. Let's be off to the islands camp for some massive mass outbreak research. It seems a massive mass outbreak has sprung up here in the Crimson Mylands too. Let's try to determine if the phenomenon occurs here as, as it does in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Hey ho little people, no need to fret, Melly has arrived. What do you want? I heard rumours that you've been investigating massive mass outbreaks or some such, but I, Melly, have already solved a mystery. All that remains is to gather evidence. Really? Not bad, Melly. The reason these Pokemon have been mysteriously gathering in rainstorms is... To give praise to the great Melly, naturally, I forgot. <laughs> yep, that's... Yep, that's me. I agree with you, Munchlax. <laughs> Don't look so sour, you two. I realise it's a difficult truth to accept right away, but I, uh, but the awe I inspire is both sun and shadow to adamant is clearly apparent to Pokemon. 
And as thanks for your adorable efforts in proving my theory true, I'll give you this generous reward. I didn't... Go on, take them. They're a, a, a guav berries. Quite a rarity here in history, you know. I mean, thanks. As for why these Pokemon gathered during rainstorms, well, that's surely to represent how it's just, I'm simply overflowing with wonderful qualities. And with that nugget of wisdom, I shall be off. Yeah, you said it, Munchlax. <laughs> he was very shy and withdrawn as a child until one day when he announced he was going to work hard to help Adamon. I was happy to see him grow more optimistic, but I fear he may have taken that to extremes. But Agawav berries, where could he have found them? Munch. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, did you just eat some of the agu Aguav berries? Gobbled up five of the agu. Ah. Munch, munch. Oh, sorry, gods. What's this? It looks like your fancy map is responding to the Munchlax again. Yep, loads of massive mass outbreaks. Uh, why are some of these glowing? Does that mean there's shiny Pokemon there? Uh, there's a mass outbreak of Turtwig as well over here. I'm going to have to go catch those guys. Uh... I don't think I've caught many Bonsley, though, so that's interesting. Uh, okay. Huh, now the map shows not only outbreak and locations, but the Pokemon there as well. What does this mean, Munchlax? Man. While massive outbreaks are ongoing, you can give Agrav Berry some minds much to find out what Pokemon are appearing at each mass outbreak location. Ah. Pokemon icons with a sparkle mark locations of special mass outbreaks. While these with a berry... Well, those with a berry indicate mass outbreaks where you may be able to receive Agrav Berries. Be sure to make the most of these help out with your investigations of massive, ma massive mass outbreaks. So if we keep find, feeding Munchlax Agrav Berries, he'll be able to, we'll be able to learn more about his outbreaks. Munchlax, what exactly is, is it with you, you're trying to get us to understand? Whatever, whatever this all means, please investigate three massive mass outbreaks locations in the Crimson Mines. We can compare these outbreaks to those we found in Ibsen Fieldlands. I shall indeed. Um, let's go check out the Psyduck and the. We'll go down. We'll go. We'll go to the Krogonk one first. Actually, no. We'll go to the Psyduck one first. Cause that's where the camp is anyway. So we'll, we'll go to that one first. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, big boys. Loads of alphas. Okay. Not a single shiny much, you guys. Kind of... Kind of miffed from that. You think at least one, right? <laughs> uh, we need to see one more mass outbreak, and I think we'll go to uh, we'll go to Turtwig over here. Cause there's the Turtwig. Look at them all! Look at the happy babies! Oh, I'd love me a Turtwig. A shiny Turtwig tur tur would be... Amazing. Little hoppy hop down the rocks. Oh, Adamant. Hey, Adamant. Hey, if it isn't Ronnie, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. Did that make your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Yeah, I'm curious. That's that surfing course spirit. I'm curious to see what moves science forward according to good old Mr. Professor. Come to think of it, I, what I found seems to too valuable to just let you in, in on it for free. You'll need to work it for it a little. The Diamond Clan's treasure. Here's the deal: I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. You got it. Then it's on. Time to see what you've got. 
Here I come, and knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan. Let's go, Teddy. You are about to get wrecked. I'm Buron, I'm Buron, Leafeon, and Vaporeon. Now, Vaporeon's the problem. Leafeon's not. So let's definitely flamethrow you. Gone. So n problem number two is the Vaporeon. Hang in there, buddy. Let's do... Let's play rough you. Ooh, that did not knock you out. That was not... That was not great. Okay, but we took it in two hits. So that's good. So now we can focus on the Umbreon. This is absolutely lowered. It's a dark pulse. That's okay, though. Uh... We just fish off. Strong style. Flamethrower. How did that not... Oh, defensive and bulky. Hang in there, Teddy. Let's go, Flamethrower. Good boy. You're really something, and I am a man of my word, so here's that treasure. You obtained an adamant crystal. When you use on Diaga, this large green gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. So now, this is used, this used to be my grandfather's. He said it was somehow related to this almighty sin, I mean to almighty Dialga. So now that I've put it through the ringer a little, it seems right to give it to you since you're the one who caught mighty Dialga. You know, I want to tell you, I'm glad it was you who fell out the sky to us. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon, another way to relate to the world. The Diamond Clan's treasure complete. And we got the Comet Shard times three, so that's awesome. We got the Diamond, we got the Adamant Crystal, which would obviously in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum becomes the Adamant Orb. Um, in, in the original games, the, the Adamant Orb just allowed, just to get powered up Dialga, and, uh, Dialga with powering up its steel and dragon type moves. But in this, it actually allows it to change form. So obviously, so obviously, it's going to be able to change the form of Dialga into its origin form, which is so awesome. Um, so I'm glad we were able to do that now. Anyway, let's quickly heal, and then go catch. Another of the Link Trio. Alright, let's go. <gasps> it's Azelf. Kyun. Let's go. Oh, not Teddy. <laughs> I didn't mean to send out Teddy. Uh, uh, Electro, please. Not going well. Okay, at least we've got to have a chance. Uh, let's just go for Agile Star Thunder Wave. Nice, got to price this off. And it got paralyzed, excellent. So now we just go for Agile Style Thunderbolt. See, how, what, see what damage it does this time. So two of those should be more than fine. Goes for an extra sentry, and that's okay. Again, should be more than fine. Ooh, close though. Goes for a Mystical Power. I don't know what that does. It uh, buffs your stats, okay. And then Ultra Ball. Nice. And as Elf was caught. There's one more like Pokemon to be caught. 
So let's head back over to my. Because we need to do one more mass outbreak, I think. No, we did three. Where's my gone? Oh, no, uh, no, there she is. It seems that the mass, massive mouth, mass outbreak you were investigating has dissipated. We may as well return to Venture by Village and wait for another mass, massive mass outbreak to, well, break out. Uh, let's talk to the Professor and head back to the village. I caught 32 Pokemon. A lot of, a lot of Psyduck. I got an Alpha Psyduck though. A lot of Alpha Krogunk. Not a single shiny. I'm still like, uh, I've done a lot of Turtwig, which I'm very happy about. And as elf. Got 32 Pokemon, and we got a lot of money because of it. Caught eight alphas. But I have lots of Turtwig. Not a single shiny, though. I would have loved a shiny Turtwig or something. Would have been cool. Return to the village. Uh, well, I'm going to head back straight back out and go to the next lake. Uh, we need to go up to Alabaster Islands. And we're going to go find Alola, the guy with his Vulpix. Oh, I want to sleep. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, okay, we're going to head up to Lake... Lake Acuity, so where's probably actually the best place to go? Uh, there. You can apparently run into Braviary on Lake Acuity, but I haven't actually run into one yet. So, I want to run into a Braviary, that'd be kind of awesome. Anyway, on to the final Lake Trio Pokemon, that is Yuxi. Oh, pretty sure they healed. <gasps> it's Yuxi. Kayoon. Uh, oh no, I healed. Whoops, I tried to get out of it. Get out of here. Okay. Let's wonder wave. Nice. He's paralyzed. Great. And then we agile style Thunderbolt. Let's go. Ooh, bulky. Bulky, baby. Okay. I don't want to go for another fun... Uh, regular Thunderbolt, though. I'll just, go, I'll just keep doing agile style Thunderbolts. But I'm going to have to do... Okay, I think he's paralyzed. Great. I think that will do. But you're you're much more of a fight than the other two were. But still in one Pokeball, in one Ultra Ball, so excellent. And that's all three of you captured. And we got the Draco plate by catching psychic Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> Completed the Plate of the Lakes. Based on Kajita's hints, it seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. Uh, there's a mass outbreak of uh, Gabite down here, though. So let's... The, what's the quickest way there? That's probably the quickest way there. What this all means? Please escape three massive out in the Crimson Mines. So we can, okay, so we need one more. Uh, what's the map say? Okay, let's let's give five more Aguave berries to to Munchlax, so we can at least have a look. Whoa, that's a bright flash. At least what's going on? So I can get some berries from here from Side Dark. What else is going on? Uh. Hippotas. There's a mess up I can ride on. 
There's a mass outbreak of Grottle as well. Let's head to Grottle first, then we'll go to Psyduck. And then we'll go to Hippopotas. There's all the bonds lie. Okay, let's sneak down this way. Neat. Hey guys. Neat. And the storm's gone. Okay, so... And the mass outbreaks have gone. That's what I meant. So let's head back to mine and talk to her. And Munchlax. No, not you, Munchlax. Talk to Mai. Oh, Iridia. I hear you've finished your investigation in the Crimson Islands. Well done, Ronnie. Iridia is here to help us. What happens twi twice will happen thrice, or so they say. Massive outbreaks seem likely to occur in the Kelpark coastlands and other areas as well. So I've been discussing the issue with Iridia. Why don't we demonstrate to her what we what has been keeping us so busy? We can turn our investigation to the Kobo the Kobo Colson's next. Munch. Ah oh, yes, Munch likes. I know what we, what's been keeping you busy is easing. Don't worry, you'll get your berries. But still, I wonder what lies behind Munch likes' strange reaction to eating aguav aguav berries. How does he know which Pokemon are gathering while we're during a massive mass outbreak? Uh. <laughs> He's got superpowers! Perhaps. Hopefully our investigations will shed some light on this mystery. Well, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some things about massive mass outbreaks myself. I knew the lead of the Pell Clan could help us. Mysterious goings on in vast history pique my interest, after all. And on top of that, we're friends. I'll always come to our if you ask for help. F fr friends? Did I get friend zoned? <laughs> friends? We'd seen each other around before, but after talking more at the Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Oh, you two are friends. Not just how exactly we think Adamant is doing as a leader. And we decided we'd help each other out, despite being from different clans. Anyway, that's how I got involved in investigation in the Coastlands. And I heard from Iskin and Lena that they'd both seen something like that, like, that was like a mass outbreak, but stranger. What are your thoughts on these massive mass outbreaks, Iridia? Well, I wonder what about them causes Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's been some shift in space because of the mighty Palkia's appearance. I'd definitely be glad to have some more Pokemon around. It would help history, history flourish. But it's too early to conclude it's all for the best. Hordes of strong Pokemon could be dangerous. I'll be sure to warn Lena to be careful too. I'll head to Jubilee Village once I wrap up a few things here. We can meet up at the front gate when it's time to set out to our next investigation. Massive mass outbreak in the Myelands complete. We've got some apricorns, black fun, tumblestone, and iron chunk. Let's head back to the village. Uh, before that, we'll head make our report to the professor. We've got 27 Pokemon. Let's have a look. A lot of Grottle, a lot of Psyduck, a lot of Hippopotas, Hippopotas uh, Alpha Hippopotas, and a Roserade, and a lot of Bonsly. Finally added Bonsly to the Pokedex. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Mm -hmm, most illuminating. Let's return to the village. And finish up this part. So now we're going to be heading off next to uh, and get our next plate, which will be over in the Kobo Coastlands. Uh, one of those being uh, the Fire Spit Island. So that's the plate of Fire Spit Island. Should be here. And I think there's a Pokemon here. Like it's going to be, obviously, Heatran. Uh, we've also got some massive ma uh, mass outbreaks as well, so we'll be doing some more of that next time 
in the next part because these massive mass outbreaks are all part of the update that has uh, recently been released uh, as part of uh, as Pokemon as part of Pokemon Day uh, that was on Sunday. Uh, also to date when I'm playing this episode when I'm, I, no, I'm still playing Pokemon Legends Arceus and I haven't beaten it within an entire month of the game coming out I'm enjoying my time I'm taking my time nice and slowly to play through this entire game and you know these massive mount, massive mount, uh, mass upbreak, uh, outbreaks this update is making you know me play the game more until the new Pokemon games come out Pokemon Scarlet and Violet which you'll be able to see my reaction to in one of my videos um, which should be my last video um, bef uh, that I uploaded so go check it out. Anyways, in the next part, we'll be heading off to go catch Heatran, and we'll be doing more massive mass outbreaks in the Cobalt Colsons. But for now, I have been the one and only, and there's nobody I'd rather be, and you've been watching part 28 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Legends Arceus for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time, trainers.